Many people get cats because they're looking for a pet that's lower maintenance than a dog, but something that's still fun to play with, and then they forget to play with their cat. Well, it's actually really important because while cats do spend a significant portion of their day grooming themselves and sleeping, they are actually very active little creatures if left to their own devices. Left in an apartment with nothing to do, they can get into all sorts of trouble. So it's really important to find some toys that your cat likes. I put some toys out here by Freya, but you can see she's much more interested in being petted right now than playing with them. But things to look at are little robotic toys, only with supervision. This is a hex bug, and you can flip the button on it, turn it on, and it'll vibrate, and it'll move in all different directions, simulating how a bug might move. This can be really fun for cats, and it doesn't require you to do a lot of interaction, which is nice for busy people. Other toys that allow the cat to play by themselves are food dispensing toys like this one. All you do is you put little dry food pieces or treats in here and let your cat move it around in order for pieces to fall out. In fact, if you feed your cat dry toys, you should feed them out of food dispensing toys all of the time. Another fun thing to do with cats to keep them active is actually to train them. And one of the most fun ways to train a cat is to use clicker training. This is the book I recommend most often for my cat's owners that are trying to train their cats. It allows them to go through flashcard style and teach all sorts of fun tricks, everything from sit to shake to jump in a box, and basically the options are limitless. The more you do short interactive sessions with your cat, the happier they're gonna be. So make sure to play with your cat at least five to 10 minutes every day. And that's how you keep a cat occupied.